peaking at the right time. Your University of St. Francis football team put it on Grandview in the 34-3 win over the Vikings in the first round of the NAIA Football Championship Series. The Cougars had 436 total yards of offense while holding Grandview to just 138, a dominating performance. We're coming together. We're uh, peaking at the right time. We're getting healthy. We're playing well. We're playing with confidence. Grandview's a good football team. Um, leading the country in rushing defense. I mean, we had well over 200 yards. We had two tailbacks and a quarterback right at the 100 yard mark. Um, we threw the ball well. We were uh, nine of 13 on conversion downs. They were like 27% defensively and third down conversions top of the nation. So defensively, I mean, we just, we slammed them. Uh, totally controlled the, the football game. Uh, could be prouder of our guys. And uh, you know, the, the way that we have been able to respond to adverse circumstances is what this is all about, you know? It's not just about winning football games. It, it, it's about um, how you respond when things are difficult. Um, you know, you, you can recruit good players and you can put a helmet on them and go out and win football games. But what are you gonna do when things are difficult? Um, when emotionally you, you've been damaged, how do you respond? Um, that's called character. It's called grit. And um, that's what our guys have right now. Like you said, we, we dominated uh, that game. Uh, They're averaging, I mean, they had one of the best rushers in the, or best rushing offense in the league, and we just, we dominated them, holding them to under 100, which is absolutely phenomenal. And um, uh, it was just, D-line played extremely well. Uh, they're they're doing their job and linebackers were flowing. Our DBs were their coverage was outstanding. I mean they didn't have over 100 yards passing either. So it was just on all phases of the of the defense, everyone played really well and coaches were very very pleased with how we did. And I mean we're coached really well, so it's it's to be expected we played really well. And it was a gritty performance put together by receiver Rocky James, who caught seven passes for 103 yards with two touchdowns and defensive end James Jamisic, who had five tackles, three and a half tackles for a loss, and two and a half sacks. Both were named players of the game. Well, James has been hurt for the last five, six weeks. You know, he, he's been uh, bad shape the week off, really helped him get back, uh, and he, he just dominated. Uh, I mean, he's a great pass rusher. He's going to apply pressure, and he did just that. Uh, Rocky is just a great young man. He's a very talented player. Uh, been working with him all year on response to adverse circumstances when things don't go well for you. How do you respond? And uh, you know he's grown and matured. And, and I thought uh, his athleticism was able to to take off on Saturday. He played hard, played well. Of course, you got to have a quarterback to put the ball on the money, which Matt did several times. So we got great receivers. Rocky James is a great receiver. So is Dan Rixey. So is Will Christman. Hunley's playing well. Uh, you know, you throw into the mix. Uh, P.J. Dean stepped up all year with uh, Jay Green being hurt. Now Jay Green back. So now, you know, you, you've got a dynamic duo there. So. Things are coming together, and they're coming together at the right time. 19 Cougars were selected to last week's All Mid-States Football Association Honors. Linebacker Pearson Harness became the first ever Coug to be named All MSFA First Team all four years. That was no surprise. But many were surprised that Marcus Stepp, who could arguably start for any team in the NAIA, was named honorable mention and that Eric Dutton wasn't named the All-MSFA Player of the Year. With 125 tackles, 13.5 tackles for a loss, and three block kicks, he's put together a great senior season. He's put together a great career. Not only a senior season, he's, he's an outstanding young man. He's playing great football. Couldn't be happier for him. Um, player of the Year, you know, you get down to the politics and who's voting for who and 
who's not voting for your guy so their guy can get in. You know, I haven't been conference coach of the year in years. We went back-to-back -back titles. We, we don't have control of those things, you know, a big deal. Uh, what we have control of is how hard we play and, and the grit and character that we play with. Uh, Eric has certainly done that all year long. Um, he got my vote, but I wasn't allowed to vote for our guys. Um, so he's had a great, great year, great career. You know, you, he and Harnish in there, a dynamic duo. Now you get Jamisic uh, back in full strength. Well, you know, and maybe the, the unsung, unmentioned guy in all this is Marcus Stepp, who ends up honorable mention all conference. And he's a great football player. He has matured, and I actually promoted him uh, to a team captain for postseason play because of his growth, maturity, and his play. So I think we got the, the best second level that you're going to find uh, in NAI football. If I were to describe myself as, as a football player, I would say I'm definitely tenacious. Um, I do demonstrate some leadership on the field and I try to really rally everyone together and just really get everyone focused and just every play I just try to give it all I got because I mean it could be my last play and I've, I just have a great love for this, for this sport, for this team. I just want to. I just want to make everyone proud. That's that's really the main thing. And I mean, I just I just love it all together. And just being a team sport, it just shows how well one has to work with another. And I mean, I just really try to give it all every down. Dutton and Harnish hold down the interior defense as middle linebackers, and a lot of Harnish has rubbed off on Dunn. Step helps to hold down the rest. At six foot one, two hundred twenty pounds. He is considered a hybrid linebacker who can do it all. There's no doubt these three are as good as they come. So one thing that he's he's really good at is definitely being a leader. Uh, people respect his presence and when he's talking people respect him as well. So that's one aspect I've really tried to been working on myself is to be more of a leader on this defense and on this team and I, I mean Harnish has been really good at it lately in the past couple years so that's something that I respect in him and something I've been trying to work on. Marcus, he, he's very tenacious is, is a word I would use to describe him when he's on the football field. I mean, he's just aggressive, hard-nosed football player. I mean, he'll, he'll let you know that he's, he's beating you up. He'll let you know that he's, he's playing well. So that's something I really respect about him is he's just, he just wants to get it done and just do it to his um, maximum effort and his fullest potential. So he's just, I mean, that's just what I really respect about him. I like to think I have a different presence when I'm on the football field, so I really try to, I really try to bring it every down as, as much as he does. So, I mean, I think oh, another thing I love about this defense is we just work off one another. Someone makes a big play, we're there congratulating them, and that just kind of brings that emotion up. And I mean, that's just what I love about this defense. We're always behind each other. We got each other's back no matter what happens. And... Dutton is used to having his family members back. Growing up with parents that are deaf. It forced Dunn to mature a bit quicker than most. One thing my parents did extremely well with me, and I'm really thankful for them, and uh, my grandparents as well, is they really instilled in me to just be resilient and just to work hard in everything I do. And that's just, I mean, it's shown throughout my academic life, my athletic life right now. And I'm just really thankful for them just hammering that in my head, just, um, just that hard work and that resiliency to just keep pushing forward and no matter what, don't stop because they had a really tough life growing up. They could be seen as like just different and just being like an outcast, but it's just really important to incorporate everybody and just understand people's difference. And no matter what, just, just always try to get everyone involved, which I definitely try to have a relationship with everyone. And I try not to single people out, no matter if they're different or if they have some sort of disability, just to keep everyone engaged and just, I mean, just be their friend, just talk to them and just have a great relationship with them. The Dutton family bond is as strong as the linebacker. And with Eric's individual success and the success of the Cougar football team, Dutton gets a lot of love, including from the 300 plus deaf people that attend the Allen County Deaf Festival. My whole family, I, I mean, I love them to death. They just, they're always supporting me in everything I do and they do that with all my relatives as well. And it's just, it's just really comforting to know that I'll, I'll always have someone there for me. No matter what situation I'm in, I'm, I just always have someone. And what's kind of funny is there was a there was a deaf festival uh, quite a few weeks back, and every time I go there, 
I'll talk to the people there and they always know me as like the St. Francis football player. And it's, it's just awesome just to have everyone talk to me about it and just, it's just really pleasing to know that they're following me and the St. Francis football team and just they're, I mean, they have, they've been supporting us since, since the beginning, so. And the Cougs can use all the support they can get. After a wacky round one of the playoffs, where the number two, number three, number four, and number five seeds all lost, USF learned they would once again host another NAIA FCS game. Even Coach D was like, wow. Yeah, it was a wow. Um, particularly first round opposition, or first round games. Uh, home teams are about 80, over 80% 80 successful. And to have two, three, four, and five go down in the first round is really crazy. Um, but it happened. So, I mean, we jumped from an eight seed to a four seed. Is that right? Yeah, eight to four um, as, as we go in to the quarterfinal round. So, we'll see how it shakes out this week. Um, going to be some, some good games. I think Concordia Benedictine, uh, St. X, I think is capable of giving Morningside all they want. Whoever thought St. X would go down and beat Marion after getting beat by 50 back in August, but they did. And then I think Dickinson's a different kind of team going to Kansas Wesleyan. They haven't seen power like that. So a lot of things can happen. Um, who knows? Will we host? Will we travel? You know, you got to wait and see how it falls out. So this Saturday, the Cougs will host number 12 Baker in a rematch of the 2016 National Championship game. The Wildcats bring with them the number six scoring defense and the number seven scoring offense. They're a good football team. They're well coached. They got athletes. They got uh, great size in the offensive line. I mean, they're 300 plus all the way across. Um, the quarterback, um, they made the change uh, back, I think, in late September, October. Quarterback, young man's playing well. They got a tailback who's a real deal. And they, they've got great speed and, and the skill. Um, defensively, they're small, but they got great team speed. Um, so, I mean, they're going to pressure the quarterback. They're going to fly to the football. They have great team pursuits. They have a lot of respect for them. Uh, they, they've been one of the most successful programs uh, over the last decade, and uh, we know it's going to be a real battle. Uh, we definitely have to take a step back and kind of that saying, respect all, fear none. Uh, they're a great team, they're, they're well coached, and their players, they have great athletes, so really just respect all, fear none, and um, that's really it. Yeah.